everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be doing a 21 Pilots themed video. I know we're all shocked, we know by now that I am 21 Pilots trash, um, but the video I'm going to be doing is a Bandito Halloween costume tutorial. Now this includes the makeup look and it also includes the costume part. Yeah, I'm really excited to do this and then obviously I'm going to do the outfit for you as well. So if you are new to my channel, hello, welcome, you can click subscribe down below if you would like to. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. This is my bare face on camera, we love that. So at the minute I am just moisturizing because I am dry and because it's cold in the UK now for those who actually care I'm using the simple replenishing moisturizer I just realized as well that I hadn't put my hair back like most beauty gurus do so here we go Disneyland Paris is there's your promo I'm gonna prime my eyelids using uh, the Makeup Revolution Focus and Fix Eye Primer, which is this little tube here. So what I normally do is I normally just kind of dab this onto my eyelid and kind of around the area. It's probably not what you're supposed to do, but it works for me, so I'm just dabbing it in. I'm gonna do my eyeshadow first. I haven't gotten to the point where I can do eyeshadow without it falling out and going onto my face, so. I'd rather do that first and then tidy it up after. So you girls gonna do the eyeshadow first. Uh, I have no planned look for this. So what I was kind of thinking was to do like yellow on the lid, golden -y in a corner, and then like a khaki green under here. I don't know if that's gonna look right. It might look shit, but who knows. The brushes I'm gonna be using are my Harry Potter eyeshadow brushes. Um, hello. The fix spray I'm gonna be using is, I just literally ran out of my MAC Prep and Rhyme, so I, got my backup spray which is the makeup revolution pro fix spray and it works just as well i'm just gonna spray my brush with that a little bit air it out a little bit so it just can pick up some color the palette i'm going to be using the most yellow from is the jeffree star thirsty palette because this palette has the best yellow i've ever seen in my life this is the palette oh whoa can you see that so i'm literally editing this and the angle i had my camera at versus the angle i had my mirror at you cannot actually see my eyelids so this whole thing was pointless but yeah i'm just gonna we're gonna work with it yellow is quite a hard color to put on the eyes mm. <laughs> god honestly i i I'm gonna put some more of that on. I, wow, and there's shadow all over my leg. Oh, I love that. It's looking okay. <laughs> Ish. Everyone's gonna be like, no, it's not, sweetie. I don't know what you're looking at, but it's not great. So there's another yellow I wanted to incorporate in this. It's a subculture Anastasia Beverly Hills or Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm gonna be using the color yellow. It's the, it's called Edge. Love that. Whoa, Nelly. Right, I think I'm done with the base because I'm just gonna keep caking out on it's not gonna look good what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna take the jacqueline hill palette uh which is in collaboration with morphe or morph i call it morph is it morphe i don't know but i'm just gonna go with this color here i'm gonna use this brush here by makeup revolution it doesn't have a number or a code or anything it came as a set but it's basically like a small fluffy brush thing and i'm gonna just kind of put that up here and just kind of circular motion it throughout my crease and it like blends out my eyeshadow i'm like mm, you're blending out the wrong section i'll just do that again on this side i'm gonna do the under eye and the corner once i've done my foundation and that so i'm gonna go away do my foundation and then i'll come back and do the look okay so i've just done my foundation and concealer i haven't set my face yet because i'm gonna do that once i've done my under eye for those of you who actually care and are interested the foundation and cover-up i use are both by makeup revolution so this is the um makeup revolution stick foundation it just looks like that and it, it is in the shade f4 and you can see that i use is in the shade c1 which is like one of the lightest ones they do and it just looks like that nice little applicator this is the conceal and define cover up as well i'm gonna use this color in my jacqueline hill palette this green color here and i'm gonna use that in the under eye and i'm gonna use this brush to apply it another harry potter wand brush but it's just got this kind of angled thing that color looks okay. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take my beauty color palette by Jeffree Star and I'm gonna go in with the shade. Ew. I'm gonna dab my whole finger in the shade by this right. I'm gonna go in with the shade Rich Bitch, which is this gold color. And I'm gonna put that in my inner corners. I'm quite content with that. 
that's quite cute. I'm just going to do uh, my eyebrows off camera and my mascara and everything else like that off camera. And then I'll be back with you to do the outfit. So what I'm going to do now is just throw on some contour, some highlight and some lippy. And then we'll be done with the look. Uh, I was going to do false lashes, but you girl doesn't do false lashes. She can't put her lashes on to save her life. The contour I'm going to be using is, again, another little palette. It's called the Sculpt and Contour Kit. So it looks like this. It comes with a contour highlight and a blush. So I'm just going to take one of their contour brushes here, which has this like kind of sculpted side, which I like because it can get really in the cheekbones. So I'm going to just dab a little bit of that, dab the excess off, shake it. And then we're just going to go fish mode. Just kind of like really brings them in. Uh, I will blend it out, obviously. Do a little bit down the sides of my nose. And then just an overall dusting. I'm just gonna take this big fluffy blending brush. So I just like to blend it all out. But it still looks like it's there, you know? So it's, it, it works kind of. <laughs> I like to use two like highlighting brushes. So I like to use this one, which is by Real Techniques. And then I like to take the Spectrum A10 fan brush. To really just get on the cheekbones, I know a lot of people don't agree with fan brushes or whatever, but your girl here does. So, I'm going to do it. So I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Aurora Glow Kit. Using the green one to go in with the theme, which is called Helia. And then the white one, which is called Luna. Uh, so we're going to be using those two. Before I do the Luna colour, this highlighter by Makeup Revolution. This is the rainbow highlighter. It looks like that. So it literally is a rainbow, but it has like every colour that is in this glow kit, but just in one. So you can kind of merge them all together, which I love. So what I like to do is I like to just go across and down. And I like to just kind of take this blending brush and just kind of dust over it like that. Just so it doesn't look wild. What I'm going to do finally is take this brush again and use the Luna white shade in the uh, Anastasia Glow Kit. And we're just gonna dust that on the nose. Kind of just pat that in, ooh, shiny. A little bit on the chin. This actually looks okay. I'm quite impressed with myself. <laughs> the eyes are still looking cute. I really am really bad at uh, winged eyeliner, so don't come for me, please, because I really can't do it. So for lips, I'm not gonna do anything bold because I feel like the eyes are quite boldish on their own. I don't want to go like crazy on the lips. I'm going to use, this is by NYX. This is the Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London. It's a very like nudie brown shade. I put a bit of that on and it looks good. But I feel like I want more of a tint to it. So I'm going to use this one which is like a little bit darker than that. It's the NYX Lingerie. It's the shade Push Up and it's like, it's like London but it's like a little bit more pinkier and I just feel like it will look better. This is the finished look. I'm actually quite content. This turned out really well. <laughs> what do you all need for your bandito Halloween outfit? What I'm gonna wear underneath is I'm gonna wear this hoodie, which is a replica of Tyler's hoodie. Uh, so this is from Top Man. I don't know if they still do it, but if they do, you can get it. If not, I'm sure you can find a dupe of a yellow hoodie somewhere. Literally, yellow isn't in colour right now, so I'm sure you'll be able to find one somewhere. So this is my Parker coat. You can kind of find these anywhere because Parkers are an in thing at the moment as well. So this one's from New Look, uh, so you can probably find them in there. Another thing I have is this yellow bandana. I got this from Amazon for like three pound i want to say it was quite cheap depending on pilots sell one as well so if you want to be like really on brand you can get their one but you know i had this one so we're going to use this one another final thing you will need is a roll of duct tape which is of course yellow it has to be on brand guys we have to keep it on brand oh my god this actually looks sick like hello trench we don't know her now you've got your parker on we're going to take we're not going to take anything if I keep dropping it. Now, Tyler and Josh, they both have different tapes on them. So Tyler has strips here and here. Josh has strips here and here. I'm going to do Tyler strips because I don't want to use all my tape. I've still got my Bandy O'Tour show to go to. <laughs> that isn't till March, so I'm really over prepping here. But, uh, you know, that's fine. I don't know how much we're going to need. Is that enough? I'm going to snippy snip. Maybe don't let your tape fall to the floor because it will make a loud noise. It's probably wise to put that on before you put on the jacket, but we're a learning squad here. We learn things as we go. And I'm just reaching around my back to pat that on. Ooh, hi. That is so cute. Get another strip and you're gonna just snippy snip. I'm gonna do it over here so it can fall on my bed. There we go. Like that. And then just kind of smooth it over, reach around your back. 
normally if you have a friend this would be a lot easier but in trench we don't have friends those are our strips of tape that we've done um i would probably advise doing this before you put the coat on but I've never done this before, so here we are. This is the first time I've ever put tape on my outfit and I'm actually kind of here for it. I just tie it at the back. That looks so sick. Oh my God, I love this. This is your finished Bandito trench look. So this is the finished look. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Like I didn't think it would look this good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Give it a thumbs up and do click subscribe down below because I make new videos every week. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.